What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. My name is Splattercat and today we're gonna be hanging out playing Parkasaurus, a game that I've been waiting for for a long time. Uh, if you like Jurassic World and you thought that that was fun managing and building your own dinosaur park, this might be the sort of thing that really shakes up those jimmies because we'll do be doing the exact same thing here, just kind of in like a cuter, more colorful, vibrant environment. So let's go ahead and play some Parkasaurus, see what the dinosaurs got for us. We're in early access right now, you can check the game out on Steam down below. I got a link for you. Standard game with normal settings, why not? Let's do it. Uh, I'll, I'll play the tutorial and whatnot. Why not? We'll play through it. I want to see the, like, I think it's a good idea for both me as a player and you as a viewer. I think it's a good idea for both of us to get the core gameplay tenets down in the first episode so that you can kind of see what the game is all about. Because a lot of the time from like tutorials and beginning aspects, you can extrapolate what the rest of the game is going to be like. And I think that's very, very important for deciding whether or not a game is for you. So apparently the dinosaurs have mastered rocketry and have decided to fly on over to North America, South America, somewhere. I don't know. That's what's on the map right now. Maybe a little piece of Africa right there or possibly just like the edge of Europe. Maybe a little bit of Australia. Maybe a little bit of, I don't know if that's supposed to be the Philippines or what that's supposed to be right there. Maybe Korea? I don't, but Korea kind of faces downwards. I don't know. I don't know. They have little space helmets on, dude. Don't you want to accessorize your dinosaurs with little space helmets? Well, they didn't asphyxiate immediately. We will call it, oh, I don't know. Dino Dynasty. There, we, nope, not Dino Dynasty. Dino Dynasty. There it is. We've got it. Commander Ollie here. Oh my God! Hey Ollie, my, Ollie's on my lap right now. Ollie, you're in the game right now. It's nice to meet you, human. Welcome to your first dinosaur park. I'll be looking into ways we can enhance the well-being of our dinosaur friends. This looks like a big empty area to set up the dinosaur park. There's quite a lot of garbage around, but every great dinosaur park has to start somewhere. Let's give things a try first. All right, so let's move around. We can uh, pan the camera, like bow, 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 bow. There we go. Bang that on out. Oh, we have a bunch of space to build on. It's like a giant parking lot right now, but there we go. We'll get that done. Yay, I've done a good job. I've gotten more acclaim from the game than I did from my kindergarten teachers. Uh, Science Officer Luca reporting for duty. It's almost time for you to meet your first dinosaur, but I'm excited to see how their biological systems function in the atmosphere. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's set up an exhibit. Exhibits are where dinos live. You design them to match the dino's needs and increase dino happiness. Let's make a simple exhibit for your first dino. So we need a wood fence. All right. So there's, oh wow, there's our UI. So we've got our fences over here. It wants us to do a fence on this side, so we'll go ahead and mash that out real quick. There's our first fence. There's the second little chunk, and then we'll go down that way, and there we go. We got fences. There's our new exhibit. Uh, click on the fences and doors. Oh, there's doors right there. Okay. And so where does it want me to put the door at? Like, do people go in? That seems markedly unsafe. That's like allowing people access to the elephant cage. It's just like, mm, I don't know if I trust it. I piloted the crash ship to your planet. My name is Pax. Your money is very shiny. We should collect as much as possible. Is that why we collect it nowadays? Dollar bills ain't that shiny no more. Uh, we need a donation box. So we got Sweet Tooth, Dino Dogs. What are these right here? Facilities. So we've got an outhouse. We've got a donation box. Okay, let's put in a donation box. Why not? We'll put it like, does it go inside on a path outside of your exhibit? Okay. Yeah, drop that thing on in right there. There you go. So we've got access to a donation box now. We're kickstarting our way back to the Paleolithic. Uh, let's get you your first dinosaur. This is very exciting for everyone involved. From Ollie. Okay, let's go with Stegosaurus because that is the superior dinosaur. A lot of people will feel free, but Stegosaurus, Ankylosaurus, Triceratops, those are my favorite. A lot of people go for the heavy hitter dinosaurs like T-Rex and whatnot. Not me. I'm a Stegosaurus guy. I'm actually an Ankylosaurus guy, but they didn't give me a choice for the ankylosaurus so like what are you gonna do you know there you go our egg goes up inside the exhibit and we'll see what happens here town is a great place to buy food accessories for your dinos or get loans you can visit the town anytime during the day even at nighttime so click on town at the top of the screen okay let's go to town and so we can buy vegetables so we need plants over here yeah go ahead and I guess buy some plants there you go we have plants is there anything else I can buy around here? We've got like office supplies. We've got a portal. And so we can dig for skulls and footprints over on this side. Do I want to look for that? Where's Ankylosauria? That's the one that I want. I want Ankylosauria. You should give up Ankylosauria to me right now. 
We've got gemstones. Okay. So we unlock things. Uncommon gems are used to create. So we need 600 research to do that. I'm going to guess we're going to get to that later. There are many different types of dino feeders. Upgrading and researching new dino feeders gives various bonuses to your dino. Yeah, we got to give them nice rotund tummies. Otherwise, oh, there's our first dino. Let's look at our little guy. There he is. Look at him. He's adorable. Perfect. Walk around. Be Build a f small vegetarian. Let me see here. There we go. Vegetarian feeder. Pow. Put that right up near the front so that when people come by to see him, they'll be eating right there and doing their thing. Caring for your dino best friends is a lot of work. Employees are great help by doing many of the ordinary tasks in the park. Veterinarians are the primary caregivers for the dinos. Let's hire one. So we go here to resumes. We've got a veterinarian right here. We've got a Coulouse. I don't know what a Coulouse is. Maybe that's their name. Como, Coulouse. Oh, yeah, their job is over there on the left. Zutatai, Narmi, Galakon. I want somebody that's, like, good at their job. Like, I want somebody that's got, like, dope abilities. Doesn't look like we really have that right now, so I'm going to top out on somebody that's fast and gets it done quickly. So there you go. You can assign the tasks of your employees. So we can look up information on the Dinopedia. All right. So we can watch the veterinarian fill the feeder. There's the veterinarian right there walking on out. Dude, what a dream to work at a dinosaur At a dinosaur park? Wouldn't you like to work at a dinosaur park? Like, that'd be kind of cool, right? That'd be kind of legit. I mean, as a geologist who minored in paleontology, which is another sub-science of geology... Don't let the biologist tell you otherwise. That's ours. That's our territory. We'll pee on it if we have to. But anyways, like, that'd be kind of like, kind of dope. The exhibit pane is a great tool to inspect the type of biome and biodiversity in your exhibit. Every dino species has a particular biome they want to live in. You can create a biome in your exhibit by placing a base tile. Then morph the biome by modifying the wetness and terrain. Okay, so we've got our exhibit panel by clicking on the fence, and then we need to drag some grass tiles up inside of here from the terrain. And so let's do this thing. Oh, you can actually, like, drag and drop that all over the place. There we go, 220 appeal. Do I want to have, like, all the appeal in the world? Does it matter that I have more of this? How much do I have to... Oh, minimum 90% coverage, so that's, like, right. Let's just do the whole thing. Why not? There you go. It's officially a forest biome. Hopefully some trees. We've got some, what is this down in here? We've got like some flowers, maybe some light fungus action going on. Might work out. What do we have going on inside of here? We've got the water tool. And so we can morph the biome. So if we wanted to make a biome, oh, okay, so the wetness. Let's go ahead and we'll take this through here. Get a little bit of water running through the middle. That's moved us a little bit towards where we want to be. And we'll have like a little lake right here. And that's moved us over into rainforest. Nice, I like that. But we can also go up into taiga if we make it much more rugged by adding rocks and things, I think. Every biome has an ideal ratio of trees to bushes to rocks. The ratio is called the exhibit biodiversity, and it contributes to your dinosaur's habitat score. Trees, bushes, and rocks can only live in particular biomes. Note that trees and bushes often need to be near water sources. Okay. Uh, we have trees and stuff right here. So, a good tree for the forest, rainforest, and taiga. We'll go ahead and we'll put a couple trees out in here. Get a couple down by the water. A little bit of this and that over there. Perfect. Looks good to me. I mean, that, that looks pretty solid. Uh, build bushes suitable for a grass exhibit. Okay, let's have a look at some bushes. So, we've got the quince, or the quince bush. All right, we'll kind of just put a few of those in there, I guess. Good enough. And now we need rocks. So let's go ahead and we'll grab... Oh, we got some basalt rocks over here. Nice. A little bit of that volcanic action. We'll add those where we can. Probably shouldn't have blocked the feeder right there, but, you know, sometimes it happens. We put some rocks next to the feeder. Don't lick the rocks. I know that it's tempting when you're standing on the other side of the fence. You see the dinosaur eating. You might get a little rumbling in your tummy. It's all right. Don't, don't lick the rocks. We've got concession stands for you. You can go over there and pay ridiculously exorbitant prices in order to get things like pizza and slushies. Time to open the park so guests can visit. You can close the park at any time. Just remember, guests will give you donations and buy tickets. How do we get research? Now, if I wanted to open the park, we click on admissions, and there... 
that's not it. There it is. It's that button. How did I go after the little button, but not the giant gold button? I don't know, man. My brain works in mysterious ways. The janitor is a key member of the staff. They repair fences, pick up garbage, empty toilets, and more. A janitor automatically does tasks around the park like picking up garbage. Let's go ahead and we'll hire one of these guys. Where's a janitor at? Oh, they're sorted by tabs right now. I don't think we have to worry about our janitor having an amazing personality. Like, it's it'd be a nice bonus, but it's not entirely necessary. Like, the faster this guy does his job, the happier I will be. So there we go. The janitor is now picking up trash, so hopefully people don't become offended when they see any of our stuff going on. That's a little tiny dinosaur right there. Can I get another one? So pick up and move your janitor. All right. There you go. The janitor has been moved. Apparently their task right now is chilling. Boss makes a dollar, I make a dime. That's why I chill on company time. There's been a lot of park training. Let's have guests arrive parked or to the park to make some money. Okay, that's fine. Go for it. Five guests. Well, they're already lining up. I mean, I'd line up to see a stegosaurus, wouldn't you? I mean, I totally would. I'd line up in a heartbeat to see a stegosaurus. Even that, if it, even if that was the only thing there, I would still probably line up to go see it. They seem to be pretty stoked and happy about it. They're giving out those donos right there. Nothing gets the wallet lubricated like dinosaurs. I'll tell you what. We've only had two guests visit? I thought we had five. We have a lot of people inside the park right now. I'm not sure if I trust my park counter. Hmm. There's definitely more people inside it. Maybe I didn't actually finish the objective fast enough, so now I gotta wait. Apparently, we ended the day. We've got charts right now, and so we can look at the end of the day report. And we also gain a currency called hearts, I guess. Hearts are rewarded every day that your dinosaurs are happy or super happy. Nice. We made $174. We probably spent a lot more than that. You know, we spent $150, so we are just barely in the black right now. Let's have a few more people visit. It's Tuesday, everybody. I could have ended the day a little bit faster. I made a cut right there, and then I realized there was a button that let me end the day. So, you know, what are you going to do? I can spend my hearts on things. we got meat snacks and Acme security. Dude, this is going to be so much fun. I'm excited about this. This game's got a lot of stuff for an early access game, and I like stuff. Stuff makes me pleased. Do I have to open? Or do I have to? does it do it automatically? Ticket price is $5. Okay. Looks good. What time do we open at? Does it say? I can rename the booth. Okay. I mean, I assume we don't open at 7 a.m. That's kind of early. But maybe... Are people coming? How come nobody wants to see my Stegosaurus? Feels bad, man. I just want to... I just want to show off the glory of dinosaurs. Yay, there's people! There they are. Look at them. People in their wild habitat coming to see my Stegosaurus in its wild habitat. Yay! $5 admission, they're in, and there's our five right there. We finally finished it off. We got an imperfect gym. Nothing has ever gone wrong in a dinosaur park, especially movies about dinosaur parks, trust me. Just in case, how about we give our security some practice in case one of our dinosaur best friends decides to adventure outside the exhibit. Learn to tranquilize a dinosaur. So we probably need to hire somebody that, yeah, security right there. Security, that guy's got five ability. That's pretty good. Is there anybody with better ability? Nope. Well, let's hire the person with good ability. All right. So now we got to tranquilize a dinosaur. I don't know exactly how we do that, but let's see here. Click on a dinosaur. Click on the request tranquilization button. My dinosaur, it's like a baby dinosaur, though. Are we really going to, like, roofie this baby dinosaur? Like, is that necessary? I feel like that's not completely necessary. And then click on the request tranquilization. I don't know. This just doesn't seem necessary to me. Like, we're going out here to shoot the dinosaur. Don't shoot him. He's a little tiny baby-ass dinosaur. It's kind of a dick move. Like, he's not even doing it. Look at his little health bar. Uh, you guys are assholes, and you guys are cheering it on. Damn it. Click on the tranquilized dinosaur. All right. So there we go. We have Lionel. And so we can open our inventory, click on the dinosaur crate, and we can just put him back. Okay. That's fine. There you go. Na, 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 na. 
Let's explore the world of science. Science credits are used in the science tree to unlock useful upgrades. We need to have scientists that work at the science building or at a science presentation. Okay. Let's go ahead and we will build ourselves a research station. A little expensive, but we'll put that right out in the front. Uh, we can pick up our scientists and we can place them onto the science nodes. So let's go ahead and I think we probably need to hire a couple scientists. That's the one thing that we're missing right now to make this all happen. Let's go with uh, some able people over here. Maybe like two of them. There you go. Two scientists have been hired. And so I would like you guys to come work at the research station. Yes, do research. I require that of you. Oh, is there only one research spot? Okay, there's only one research spot. That's okay, we're generating science now. Oh, we get plus seven? Nice. Is that person doing research too? I don't think so. Lionel is overwhelmed by his lack of privacy. What does that mean? Like, can I give him like a little hidey hole or something like that? I need to give him a shelter so that he can hide from me, so he can hide from all these prying eyes. We have had a lot of visitors today, but we've made a lot more money today than we made a lot of the other days too. Time to expand the park with more friends. Let's go to the portal and dig up some skulls. Okay, I'm digging up bones. I'm digging up bones. Doing things that are better left alone. So we got to select a time period below. Alright, so we're exploring around. Have an expedition team arrive at the dig site. Exploring takes a little time, so explore your park and return later. Oof, I need more food. Hold on. There we go. We got plants for a little while. I don't want my dinosaurs to get hungry. Did I need to, like, assign them to go to the... They're exploring right now. I mean, it looks like they're already heading out. So there's not really going to be a whole lot that I can accomplish right there. Let's keep things moving, and we'll kind of see what happens with the donations that we got flying through. Also, in our science menu, how much science do I have? 336. We can go with horticulturist amateur. We can go with employee learning. We can go to science. Do I already have these, or do I have to learn these? Well, apparently we've got an employee building now. I would say that it's probably a really good idea for us to have a secondary science building. Like, I don't know that that's 100% of what I should be doing right now. But a secondary science building seems useful to me. We've got lighting, we've got decorations. Man, there's all kinds of little things up inside of here for an early access game. I'm kind of excited about the prospects of unlocking and playing with all this stuff. So we got to find some footprints. They are almost at the dig site. We can end the day now. Let's go ahead and do that. I don't think we're going to make much more money. We've got one happy dino, so we've gained another heart. Let's go ahead and bypass to the next day. Our save is complete right there, so that's good, just in case the unthinkable happens and things fall apart. Ooh, our expedition's arrived. Yeah, go ahead and dig. I don't think we found anything. Hey, we got something right there. Hey, there we go. There's another one. Okay, Stegosauria skull. A Stegosauria footprint. Oh, those are footprints right there? Oh. I thought those were bushes or like plants or something. I didn't I didn't realize that those were footprints until I accidentally unlocked one. Oh, I messed up. I guess you can destroy it by clicking an extra time. So I guess we're done. I guess we gotta return home. And then we can buy our first egg if we go to the egg shop. So we need two Stegosaurus footprints, Stegosaurus skulls, and an imperfect gem. Well, let's go ahead and get ourselves a Stegosaurus egg. Perfect. We haven't unlocked anything else, unfortunately, so maybe we'll figure that out later. Remember the science credits? What are they good for? Well, let me tell you. Science credits are used to unlock technologies. Yeah, I already kind of got ahead of myself on that one. I kind of already got ahead of myself. What does it want me to unlock? It wants me to unlock any science technology. Gotcha. All right, so I think we probably have enough for a science technology. I don't think I need the bathroom pack right now. Let's go with science and learning. It seems like a good idea to have that. That's given us the stone science presentation, and it's given us an info sign to direct our guests. We've also got some cool glasses. I don't know if we sell those, or if that's just something we can now have randomly on our visitors, or we can put them on our dinos. Well, I've taught you everything I know about being a good dinosaur park manager. There's a lot to explore, but you're on your own. 
Gain park fame and become a great park manager. Okay, sounds good. So we got 20 guests coming on in. We got to achieve tier three. Um, I would like to do the Stone Age presentation over here. I think that'd be kind of cool. Might be a good idea. We could put that right there. And so we need another scientist if we want to make that work. I do have another scientist. I think it's that guy right there, but I'm having trouble clicking on him. There we go. Yeah, you come do research right there with the exhibit. And then, do we have, like, paths? So let's say we got fences and doors right there, and we've got paths. What kind of path do we have over here? Is this just a standard path? Let's go ahead and... I'm going to drag and drop this off this way. So we've got a little bit of a plan for the future. I would like to have other exhibits. I think I have a dinosaur egg laying around, too. Um, inside my inventory. Yeah, let's go ahead and... I don't know. Can I have another stegosaur inside of there? I'll try. If something goes wrong, he needs company. He needs, like, a little homie to hang out with him. So that, like, good things can happen. Let's get our next exhibit up and ready to go, shall we? I'm going to take this fence right here. Yeah, and let's kind of just do something like that. That looks good for me. We can do a concrete fence, too, if we're really worried about security, but... There you go. We'll put another fence right there. We are generating some research now. We're getting it. How's the research tree looking at the moment? We've already generated 370. Oh, with the sous chef, we can get Tom's Wonton Shack, and we can get the Tulum Taco Shop. Okay. Let's go with... I don't know. We already got employee learning. Let's go with uncommon gems, I guess? Gems are used to create dino eggs. They must be found in the gem store. All right. Well, what if I wanted to look for another dinosaur? So we've got Ceratopsia. Or wait, did I do Triceratops or did I do Stegosaurus? Stegosaurus. Okay. Let's do Ceratopsia then. Let's see if we can get ourselves a... Yeah. Let's get ourselves a brand new location. So they're on their way to the dig site right now. I feel like we did okay with the scientists we had last time in finding the things that we were going to require. Just to make sure, let's have a look. And let's say I wanted a Triceratops. I need a skull, two footprints, and an imperfect gem. So we can find those in the gem store. Okay. Uh, let's back on out of there. And what's up with the gem store now? So there's the gem store. We can get an imperfect gem for 500 bucks. Might as well. You might as well. We're going to need it anyway. So there it is. We've got the imperfect gem. We made about two grand today. So that's pretty solid. That's not a horrible day's work. Like, we did all right. I'll probably take my time with the Triceratops and get them deployed right there. But I'm pretty happy with what we've accomplished. What is that right there? An oil drum? Do I get rid of that somehow by, like, bulldozing it? Yeah, I might as well. Oh, we got exhibits. Tier reward, 1500 ticket sales. We actually only made like 600 bucks today, so we didn't make that much money. It hurts. It hurts deeply. We are not financially in a great situation right now, but they propped us up with a little bit more money, so, you know, I'm going to stop worrying about it. You guys keep researching. How is our expedition going? Our expedition's moving along. we got a couple hours till the park opens anyway, so we might as well just hang out here. But it looks like we're out of time for the day. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me for Parkosaurus. Looking forward to playing this one a little bit more with all of you. I'll see you all later. Thank you for stopping on by. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like on it. It helps out more than you know. My name is Splattercat. I'm a variety caster and streamer who sifts through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the massive world of indie gaming, which legit... There's a lot of stuff going on nowadays. I will see you all later. Thank you for stopping on in. It's a pleasure and a privilege to be able to entertain you all today. Hi, do, and I'll see you next time.